every disease begins right here. I mean right here. I don't care if you're blind or if you're insane. It's right here. That negative message, that acid state, influences the brain and the central nerve system. It changes the image in your eyes. You do not see with your eyes. Your eyes is only the lens that the brain looks through. It, what the brain sees is what you're gonna see. Thank you, Dr. Sebi. Sebi. pH levels crazy. It's crazy. This is seven seven. Seven. Send me right to heaven. God. All right, y'all. What is love? Lay yourself and you let the whole world. Peace and gratitude to Dr. Sebi. Today, I'm bring y'all in the kitchen, and um, I'm gonna make chickpea mashed potatoes with the oyster mushroom gravy so uh, I'm gonna show you all the ingredients and then I'm gonna show show me mixing it up and you know all that good stuff so uh yeah stay tuned uh so I hope y'all can see pretty cool or not I don't know but these are ingredients we gonna be using I'm using our spelt flour chickpeas um uh, soaked overnight um then we got our cayenne our ginger onion powder himalaya salt kale oyster mushroom and onions so i feel like chickpeas take a little minute so first thing i'm gonna do is throw them joints and some water and boil them and we're gonna end up mashing them to the you know mashed potatoes but yeah that's where we're gonna start so Oh, got my water boiling back there. Don't mind the shot of them all in the back. This is live on Instagram. Watching the lives. Watching the lives. You know what I'm saying? I'll cut my hands up. I'll probably speed this part up anyway, so you probably won't hear that. I'm saying that. Right now.
to the boiling water. Add our chickpea. Um, you know, I don't know about how much we're going to eat. You know, I'm cooking by myself, so that's plenty. That's plenty. We're going to let that uh, boil for about uh, 30, 30, 20 to 30 minutes. Turn it up. Put some oil and uh, a little sea salt in that. While the boil, not sea salt, but uh, I got Himalaya pink salt. So I'm gonna do that. Most likely off camera. Just let you know. All right, now we're gonna oil our pan under about medium heat. Um, a nice. I like to use a nice amount because I used to eat a lot of greasy, chunky dirty dusty ass food so I like my shits greasy but it's um grapeseed oil uh so it's cool so get a nice little amount let that heat up under medium heat and uh see my chickpea mash over there boiled up in and with my spoon and stir it but it's cool uh, see that shit moving so it's pretty warm look like it's pretty warm now I like my shit to sizzle when it hop on I don't know about y'all but I like when I throw my uh, food on for it to sizzle like <laughs> oh, shit. let me know in the comment if y'all like that Psst. cause I love to hear that shit when I'm cooking so sometimes I be too too anxious to throw it on, so I'll be like, look at that. So let's throw this on. Get this little thing in here. Clean it up. And it's best to use a cast iron pan. So, just throwing that in there. Or, it smells good already, you ain't got no seed in it. I mean, y'all can't see what I see. That wasn't even enough oil for all this. I mean, I'll be eating, I'll be eating for two. <laughs> I'll be drunk. But I ain't eat all day since, uh, I vlogged the day I made, showed him I made my tea, and I told him I was going to be in his for the rest of the day, you know what I mean, man, and I ain't ate. I dropped about almost half a gallon of water, 50 minutes, that's my tea, and uh, now I'm about to eat now. It's almost, it's 9 o'clock, I had my tea at about 12, so you feel me, I went the whole day in the drive for that. Food. So, this is testing it to how much you really need to eat every day. It's really about the minerals you intake. But, you know, you're in condition to eat, so let's eat good. Let's eat healthy. Make it greasy. I make it greasy, though. If I serve this in a fast food bag, that bag will be greasy. Y'all can't see for real. I see. Move it up for y'all. But yeah, man. This shit go. Look at that. Gotta get that good light for y'all. And if you could smell what I smell. Man, I'm gonna come back when I'm adding the seasonings. So yeah. All right, y'all. So we halfway through the cooking part for the vegetables, where I want to add my um, flour and stuff before I want to do that. So this one I like to season it. So uh, like I be saying, like I'm gonna be saying, this is soul food. So you know what I'm saying? You just go with what your soul feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't use no measurements. You know, just been cooking for a while. You know, just go with you know what you like, how much season you like, how spicy you like it, how salty you like it. So. Yeah, keep that in mind. So I'm gonna add my Himalaya salt first. I always have my Himalaya salt first, I don't know why. But uh 
you know, it's a little over everything. So really, I don't need, I don't need much, you know, you might like it a lot. I have my ginger, little baby ginger bit. I'm the powder, my favorite, so I go a little more to onion powder. Cut that up good. This is my favorite. Time fucking yin. Like my shit's hot. So sprinkle a nice amount of that. Mix that all in. That's what that a cast iron pan will do. So when it gets stuck, you know, you might be pulling up the pan and you pulling up shit from the pan and putting that in your body, so uh, hopefully y'all see me upgrade to the cast iron so I can uh, be cooking you know, more healthy. That's why I say almost alkaline. We almost there, you know. Keep trying every day. So, we're going to let this brown and get more done. How I like it. You do it how you like it. You like your mushrooms juicy. You know what's the like the mushroom texture. You know, cook it for a short amount of time. I'm gonna cook mine so like almost there's no water in the mushrooms. So you know, I'll let that go for a minute. Cooking, we cooking, McCoy. Cooking, McCoy. Hope y'all enjoyed the first, my first cooking joint. So to bring y'all in. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, meals right now. Cause I used to love uh, potatoes. So, chickpea mash. There we go. Let me know in the comment if you ever tried the chickpea mash and if uh, you tried this recipe. How it go for you, how it tastes. You know? I'm gonna come back when I'm adding my, my water and flour. Let this cook some more. Now I got my vegetables how I want them. Breezy in there. Vegetables cooked. Now I'm going to turn my heat down low. Add some water. You know, like my gravy thick. It's all about you. Add my spell flour. I just like add a layer on top. Like I said, soul food, you go with, you know, what you feel, man. Like. Mix that in. Turn the heat up a little bit. Just like that, you know what I'm saying? You got your gravy. You ready let it cook for however long you want. If you want it, you know what I'm saying? Super thick, I got like it. You let it cook for a long time. Uh, not a long time, but you know, a little longer. I like it just like this. Like this is perfect. So I'm gonna turn my heat down all the way to low. And that's exactly how I like mine. So, we'll be back. When it's time to mash, well, let me show y'all this if I can, how it looks. It's a better light. Light blocking that light. But yeah, this is what it's looking like right now. Mm. Can we get a zoom in on that? Cameraman. Mm, mm, mm. The deliciousness. Alright, I quit. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll be back when we uh, mashing them joints up. 
Alright y'all, alright y'all, we back. So um, I um, drained my chickpeas, I'm gonna add a little oil to them. Um, I got a little water left in there too. And I like to uh, add a little layer of salt on the top before I get the mash in them. Just so I can taste it and see how it tastes. You know, onion powder, just light. Same thing how I did my gravy, I do the same thing over the, um, the chickpea man. Right. And I got my masher. You can use whatever mashes. <laughs> oh, I love me. Damn cayenne be. Boy, stop playing that cayenne. But yeah, you use anything that could mash, you know what I'm saying? Beans. I'm just gonna mix this up and you know, go to work. Taylor, you know, just take a little more, you know, it just ain't no instant thing, you know, you gotta put a little more love into it, no measurements, they got measurements, I'm sure, somewhere on the internet, I don't know, no measurements, you go with the soul, Measurements go to a uh, different alkaline center, but cause they definitely do measurements. Cause you know, at one point I had to look up recipes too. I got it nice and mass. I'm gonna use my spoon to try to finish this. some more just so it's all the way man it's kind of like my shit my edge but it's cool if it's not all the way mash but I'll probably still put up on some water for how long it's taking me to mash it and um you know also to warm it up like doing no more so and it tastes good as fuck so i'm gonna eat it just like this i'm gonna plate it though so i can see what it look like on the plate with the gravy on top of it and everything so be back for that this is what we came out with i don't know how good the lighting is but this is the chickpea mash with the gravy my battery about to die so I guess I won't be able to taste it on camera. That's cool. Subscribe for more. Yeah, yeah.
Peace to y'all. Like Continue healing. Love yourself and you go to work.